Greetings Omnia Slice and today I'm gonna to be showing you some gameplay of the hand cannon and give you my opinion and also tell you how to unlock it because nobody seems to know how to do this thing. Anyway, in short, you have to complete a new game file, the entire story, without using bonus weapons. It has to be a new game and the bonus weapons are the Chicago Sweeper and the Primal Knife. Anyway, so I'm gonna give you my opinion on it and uh, show you how good it is. So it starts off at 12 power, 5 ammo capacity, 0.46 reload speed, and the rest is just very low. Essentially, this is just a your regular run-of-the-mill uh, magnum. Like, it's incredibly high power, but the rest kind of sucks. So we are going to fully upgrade it to see its full potential. Uh, also keep in mind that the exclusive is only available after you fully upgrade it and its exclusive is that it gets infinite ammo, just like the Chicago Sweeper. But I am currently using uh, cat ears so I don't have to worry about that. So the max power it reaches is 36.0 and that's it and the ammo capacity is 9, reload speed goes all the way up to 5, and rate of fire goes all the way up to 65. And that is its biggest downside. The biggest downside to this weapon is the rate of fire. It is incredibly powerful, incredibly inaccurate, and it's very slow, but it packs a punch. It deals 36 damage, and it has no modifiers other than penetration, so it goes through enemies. So here it is in action in professional difficulty. Now this was my professional S plus run. So I actually uh, was playing on a new game and yeah, so the hand cannon is a one shot on regular enemies of course, but it isn't a one shot against mini bosses such as the pig head or cow head dude or whatever it is, the bull head dude. Um, but uh, I mean, that's to be expected. But uh, yeah, let's check it out and uh, we will compare it to another Magnum after this. Well, as you saw there, the hand cannon is pretty good, but honestly, it doesn't do anything that the broken butterfly doesn't do. Now, speaking of broken butterfly, let's compare it with the broken butterfly. And yes, I mean the broken butterfly because I wanted to compare the two revolvers in the game. The Killer7 does not compare to it because I consider it a different weapon because it has a laser sight and it immediately is 10 times better than the hand cannon just from the laser sight and the rate of fire itself. So yeah, let's take a look at it and uh, let's fight the final boss on the hardest difficulty and see how well it compares. So the Broken Butterfly has the penetration power perk also, but the best thing about it is that the Broken Butterfly not only goes up to 27, but it also has a higher rate of fire a max capacity of 10, reload speed is also about the same, but uh, yeah. The exclusive though is the best thing about the Broken Butterfly. The exclusive increases the damage by 1.5 times. So that means the Broken Butterfly goes up to 40 damage, making it way better than the hand cannon, purely because of the rate of fire alone because it deals 40, 40 damage and it sh it does it a lot faster than the hand cannon. But uh, yeah, let's try it against Sadler and see if uh, we can do something with it.
So in conclusion, the Broken Butterfly is way better in my opinion because it shoots faster, it doesn't shoot all the way up, but the hand cannon is more iconic. I think the uh, I think if you're trying to just do a playthrough for fun and you want to see, you know, your character, you know, Leon have that insane kick. I think uh, it's worth it for that reason. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be, I guess, the best weapon in the world, uh, I guess. But it's just a very strong, fun thing. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. What do you think about the hand cannon? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's a good trophy to uh just have in your inventory or is it completely worthless compared to the broken butterfly i personally prefer the broken butterfly but i like both i think it's fun to use and i think the uh, hand cannon is fun to use but so is the broken butterfly uh personally i don't see myself ever using the hand cannon knowing that the broken butterfly is faster and it deals more damage and it just it's just better overall uh, the differences aren't huge, uh, but they are quite significant. Anyway, I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.